the committee meets to receive testimony of the posture of the U.S. Army in fiscal year 2020 budget request. We welcome Dr. Mark Esper, uh, Secretary of the Army, and General Mark Milley, Chief of Staff of the Army. We thank both of you for your years of distinguished service. We look forward to the upcoming months. The uh, National Defense Strategy directs our nation's military to prepare for the return of great power competition. This means that we've got to be prepared to deter, if necessary, decisively defeat potential near-peer adversaries, obviously uh, referring to China and Russia. Uh, in order for the Army to achieve that goal, our Army must be manned, trained, and equipped appropriately. The Army has made significant progress in rebuilding readiness across the force, but there's still a lot to be done. Uh, a high state of uh, readiness is crucial for our nation to demonstrate peace through, uh, str through strength. With the, uh, their alarming speed of modernization of both the conventional and nuclear forces, China and Russia now present a credible threat to America and our allies in their regions and an increasing threat around the world. In fact, uh, in some areas that they, uh, they've actually surpassed us. It's a hard thing to explain to American people. They always assume that we have the very best of everything, and, and that, that has been true in the past. It's not true today. It's uh, past time for action. You have testified that the Army is outranged and outgunned as currently organized and equipped. The future of our Army readiness and the relevance uh, requires modernization now. Any successful moder modernization strategy must focus on results. Rapid uh, prototyping and uh, uh, realistic experimentation will be vital to getting modern, reliable, lethal weapons into the hands of our soldiers and doing so on time within allotted budgets. Uh, we cannot allow the past acquisition failures uh, to, to continue any longer. Uh, the Army undertook a uh, detailed and exhaustive look at every single program to ensure that each supports a national defense strategy, this national defense strategy, which, of course, we've had two hearings on this. It's, it's a strategy that was agreed to by both Democrats and Republicans, and we're trying to use that as our blueprint. These choices will require an open and transparent dialogue with Congress along the way. We look forward to working with you to make our shared modernization vision a reality as the Army reinvests itself to become a 21st century fighting force prepared for the more lethal and dynamic battlefields of the future. Uh, Senator Reid. 